Today is the day we've been waiting for, lift day. What's the plan of attack? We're going to remove your wheel lock, we're going to loosen your lug nuts, we're going to jack the truck up, get the tire off, go to the other side, rinse and repeat, and then we're going to start by removing the factory strut in here, and then proceed to look into the upper control arm, as we may have already found a slight deviation, but we will adapt and overcome. In the meantime, let's get this wheel lock Let's on. go! So we're starting the driver's side here. We're just disconnecting the sway bar link. We're just relieving some of the pressure right now so that we can get to everything easier. Them. So now I'm going to remove this cotter pin, we'll remove the castle nut, we'll smack the spindle to separate the ball joint, and then we can remove this bolt, these three bolts, and we'll be able to slide that out of there one direction Crazy. or another. Crazy! Just like that, baby. And then fully loosen that castle nut. Three days later. Oh, yes sir. Ta-da! So we actually are removing the top three volts instead of doing the bottom first, and this is just, what do you, it's just a better process to get it out? I think it's gonna take some of the preload off of it, perhaps, okay. so that we can slide that lower bolt out. Because that's what we're having trouble with right now, is right down there, that one bolt that we're having issues getting it all the way out, so. And now, hypothetically speaking. Oh man, so we loosened the top three, took all the weight off from the jack, which was on the LCA, and now we're able to get some more wiggles out of it. All right, so tell everyone what we just did because so, we couldn't get it out. We removed the two 14 millimeter bolts that hold this on, and now this has room. Yeah, and, that's a lot more play. And now I can swing this out of my way. Damn. Just like that. And then we also have the LCA on the other side jacked up to make the sway bar easier to move. So let's give it a few minutes of trials and pain. We've got the new coilovers in. Now we're just getting them all in place. The upper control arms might have to wait because the ones that we got from All Pro, they're missing the tab for the ABS line, which is this line right over here. And so we're not really sure why they're missing the tab, quite frankly. The video shows that it has a tab and the instructions shows that it has a tab, but the product listing doesn't. So we're gonna maybe do some research, see if it's a there's a way to fix it. If not, we're gonna have to wait on those. So the kit comes with these sway bar relocation mounts, so it just drops it a little bit off the frame. And so because of that, we have to completely take the bolts out so we can drop it. But it also makes it easier to get the coilover out. So the passenger side is obviously going much quicker because we are now experienced lift kit installers. We've already got it partially jacked up and we've got the top part separated just now super easily. And so hopefully Tetris effect, Tetris effect here should be easier than last time. A few moments later. Just like that. Ta-da! Huzzah! <laughs> there's an arrow there. Yes, there's an arrow. Oh. They'll show you. Which there's way. the alignment color. And the Toy Tech logo out. I'm trying to go in. Oh, look at him go. Ta-da! Much, much, much better than last time. And then your three bolts on top, which they aren't factory size, correct? Correct, they're 15 millimeter They're 15 of millimeter, yep. But Stock you do want to torque them to 32 foot-pounds of torque. And 80 foot-pounds of torque, and 80 foot-pounds of torque for the bolt up there. All right, the passenger side is looking good. Now we're gonna move on to the sway bar relocation brackets. Very pretty. And they are labeled right-left with an arrow which makes it nice and easy for us. Currently taking the skid plate off so it's easier to get to the sway bar relocation and also the diff drop kit. Just 
jack action here. No, oh, it's super strong, man. I just have to put the muscle on it. Muscle. Yeah. Making it easier for frame of reference, the Allen on the Sway is a six, but then the down here is an eight, so just so you know. And then that's a 17. Mm-hmm. So this is what factory skid plates do. Uh, nothing. <laughs> it's like paper. Okay, so let's just recap. Look at that. The nut is a 19. The factory bolt is a 22. The new hardware, it's 1919. So you can see that's where the, the spacer goes. Spacer's there, and then the new pretty golden bolts. They look like that. All new, pretty, pretty. What a fun time. It's always fun when you take your most expensive investment and go bash it around. Oh my goodness. So this is the replacement bolt that has provided and we have found, I thought initially this washer goes here, this goes here, you use the factory nut, however found that we were having issues tightening it, so we now take the new bolt, this piece, slide it up, washer on top and use the provided nut instead of the factory nut and torque it to 65 foot pounds and move along. Several months later. Alright, so we are just working on getting the driver tire and wheel down to torque. We are going to wait on the upper control arm. This this bracket here with the, um, it's the ABS wire, right? Yeah. There isn't any way to mount that to the new upper control arm. And so we're just going to wait, do some research. We're going to try and figure that out and see what's the best plan. Alright, sir, what are so we looking at for the rear? For the rear, we're going to do an Adelie and new rear shocks. And the procedure is to loosen the wheels, jack the truck up, put the axle on jack stands, remove the tires, and then we're gonna disassemble one side at a time to install the new add leaf, which will go underneath the main leaf pack, but the overload leaf will be underneath of that, all sandwiched together with a brand new center pin and ready to rock and roll. Up, Mr. Truck, up. I'm sure it's nice and light with this rear bumper. <laughs> I'm sure. Thankfully we don't have gas. Starting with the passenger side, removing the old shocks. Just like that. That one does not want to come out. Nice. All right, so real quickly, we just swapped the, well, we left the jack where it was at, supporting the pumpkin, and then we moved the jack stands up, and that will do what for us exactly? So now the weight of the pumpkin is supported by the jack. We're gonna remove the U-bolts and the bump stops, and then when we lower the jack, it will drop the pumpkin from the leaf springs so that we can take the leaves apart and remove the center pin and install the outer leaf. Sweet. Surely there's no dirt down there. Alright, so let's go ahead and slightly lower the rear axle a little bit. Okay, alright, alright, okay, okay. Slightly lower. So the passenger side, the U-bolts and bump stops have been completely removed. Now we're going to do the driver. Once the driver's done, we will then slightly lower the axle to separate it from the leafs and be able to install the axle leaf. So, courtesy of Toy Tech, we got brand new center pins to, uh, to accommodate for the length for the Adelie leaf we're going to be installing. They also provide you these pinion shims. So basically, by installing this, this will correct the pinion angle for your third member, so you don't get any harmonic noise and drive shaft troubles. They also provide all brand new washers, nuts, and U-bolts. These appear to be grade eight. Not really sure, but let's see how it goes. All right. Alright, we need to go down just a little bit more so we can clear this. We'll put it sticker to the back so this is gonna go right in this slot here. Okay. We're just loosening these up so we can get room to add a leaf. Alrighty. There's all the room you need. And according to the directions, they say to slap a little anti seize on these pads. Thank you, Primatex. And don't remove these little plastic things. I 
100% thought that was just like a shipping thing. The pancakes are good. And you can see that the other ones also have pancakes. We could all use a pancake. Look at this, boys. We added a leaf. And I think that gives us an inch and a half in the rear, which equals out because trucks naturally are tall in the back. The rundown is we the longer bolt because the add leaf was a little bit of a struggle to get in, but we're at a good spot to where it is through now. We're having some alignment issues on two of the leaves. There is like these collars, and so those will ship. They're not welded or tacked anything to the leaf themselves, so sometimes they'll move and that just causes some problems with alignment and all that. So if you're doing this in the future, I'd recommend getting some big C-clamps like that. That's a four inch. I'd recommend probably getting a, a five and a six just to be able to give yourself a lot of room when these expand, but it is doable. Well, we had a little accident. Oh. On the very first pin side, I was trying to sandwich the leaf springs and I realized I forgot to put the pinion angle shim in. And while removing it, I must have gotten a piece of debris and carried all the trash clean up. Thankfully, AutoZone had these in stock and they are an inch longer, but we'll cut them down. But we are good to go. And in the meantime, we installed the extra one we had and we'll cut that one down so that we can put the bump stop over it, the stock bump stop. Rinse and repeat for the other side now. So, learned a few things on the passenger. On the driver's side, I've clamped all the leaf springs together, front and rear of the axle. Now I've installed a third clamp on the behind, grabbing the three leafs that are gonna stay in the fixed position so that I can remove this clamp and then loosen the tension on this clamp. And while this one's in place, it'll allow me to remove the overload so that I can install the add a leaf, reinstall everything back together and minimize fumbling, trying to get the center pin hole realigned. So after some fighting, some Rigorous. elevated blood pressure, we have the new center pin mostly installed. I'm trying to use these clamps to suck up the spring tension so that way when I tighten this nut here, I don't bring harm to it like I did the other one. So we did a little grinding, trimming, cutting. The bolts that come with the add leaf are four inches long and basically we did a little cutting and lopped it off so that the bump stop will now clear. No problems, U-bolts will go in, axle plates, everything will go in and it looks factory. All right, so the U-bolts are tightened down but we are now torquing them and there's mixed about what is good but first search online is 73. So that is what we're going to hit ours with. All right, so we are finally putting on the rear shocks. Um, pretty self-explanatory, they go one way because of the way that the rear shocks mount. And they got a little boot on top, a big old washer, just like that. And with a 21 nut, 21 nut, yeah. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have enough thread sticking out right now, so we're going to slightly lift the pumpkin off the jack, and hopefully that'll give us some thread so that we can gauge this. They weren't too bad. We actually were able to, we only had to jack it up a little bit to get them in, but now, that's about it. I think it's time for wheels, wheels and, tires. and tires. Torque everything to spec, and I think we're out of here. To the frame, which would be the top is 15, and the bottom is 43 foot-pounds. And what you're gonna notice on the top is because it has the little spongy guy, getting 15 is just kind of ooga-boogas. All right, the wheels and tires are on. We don't have jack stands. The last thing we've got is our jack here. You ready? So, yeah, lift it to coma. This is gonna cut to tomorrow when there's light outside. guys that wraps up the install slash vlog for this video hope you guys enjoyed watching the truck looks great obviously you need some bigger wheels and tires but with the current condition of the skids i think the skids are next so that i can actually still off-road with this thing because basically once you protect the belly you just slide over everything so it doesn't really matter but hope you guys enjoyed this video god bless and we'll see you guys next time bye Force sometimes. I get a little bit of yeet.